this evening's fourth race is the first division, the first leg of Ohio Sires for two-year-old Philly Pacers. Racing one mile, a purse of $15,000. From off the rail, a, a daughter of chairman of the board, Opa Vicky Lake, Larry Holland, and Lloyd Harvath, and Lee Glotzbach. Barry Armstrong is the trainer, Dave Lake, driving the one sensational Royale. Next is a Falcon Almahurst fillet, owned by Danny Purdue Scott and Conrad Boer of Ohio Dan Purdue Training. With a mark of 159 and 3, Eric Lentford driving the two horse, face the facts. Next is a Bay Daughter from the first crop sire of Nuclear Siren. Owned by Norman Miller of Ashley and Gil Harris of Powell. Michael Hughes trains, Dave Myers driving. With a mark of 2 minutes and 1, the 3 Sweet and Tart. Next is a brown daughter of Nobleland, Sam by Don and Carol Lehman of Columbus. Leo Groves, the uh, trainer, making only her third career start. Coming off a qualifier, Mike Wilder driving the four. Perfect model. Next, a bay daughter of Tucson, Hanover, owned by Earl Bowman of Medina, Ohio. Earl Bowman is also the uh, trainer. She comes off a uh, start at Northfield Park with a mark of 201 and 4. Joe Essig Jr. driving the five Samillion. Next is a daughter of chairman of the board owned by Ellen Mike Evans of Asheville, Ohio. Jim Marley Jr., the uh, trainer, making her fifth career start. Dave Miller driving the six. Ellen's pick. A black daughter of Noble and Sam over the Acadia Farms of Poland, Ohio. Bill Irvin is the uh, trainer and the driver coming in from a qualifier at Northfield Park she is undefeated winning a baby race earlier this year from post seven it's Tico Z a daughter of Noble and Sam owned by Gerald Goldberg at Pepper Pike Ohio Gary Martin the trainer Brent Holland the driver a mark of 202 and 3 in from the Meadows the 8 Missy America and from the outside, a daughter of Tanner's big guy, owned by Ken Charles of Valley City. Ken Charles trains, Jeff out driving, sporting a mark of two minutes and uh, three fifths. Number nine, Tanner's Real Lady. Now, folks, that nine horse Tanner's Real Lady, please disregard all the uh, statistics on the right side. That, of course, is not correct. They're on the back stretch. There they go. Into the off, and from the inside, a face the facts. Sprinting quickly for the lead, perfect model alongside his second sensational Royale from off the rail. Far outside, Tanner's Real Lady is showing some early speed here, racing for it. At the button five, sweet and tart. Along the button six, it's Samillan on the inside in seventh. Ellen's pick. Next to line, T. Cozy, the uh, trailer racing uh, ninth Missy America. Reaching the first quarter mile marker, the opening panel, 26 and four. Moving right along here, face the facts with a lead on the inside. A tight second is perfect model. At the wheel and three, sensational Royale. Racing fourth, Tanner's real lady as Fouch has a stranglehold on her, looking to keep her content. Sweet and Chart is racing a fifth and looking to flush cover. Now flushing cover comes Ellen's pick. Smartly saving ground on the inside, Missy America. Promptly moving up the rail as they approach the half. Then on the front with a lead, it's face the facts. Here comes Tanner's Real Lady now rushing to the outside to pressure the half in 58 and 4. They move to the back stretch and face the facts, getting a nice breather there in the second quarter. She leads by two. Tanner's Real Lady to the outside is racing a second. At the rail, three, perfect model to the outside, moving first up fourth. Comes Sweet and Tart. Right behind him is Ellen's pick. Shuffle back at the rail. Sensational Royale is now looking desperately for racing room to the outside. Comes T. Cozy. But into the final turn, it's all face the facts. She's led the entire mile, three quarters, 128 and one. And face the facts now opens up a bit here, opens up two and a half, three lengths. At the rail, second is Tanner's Real Lady. And Sweet and Tart is right there. Ellen's pick at the rail is for it. With less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come, face the facts. On cruise here as she handles this field with ease. The battle here is for place and to show, but it's face the facts coasting home a four-way photo here for place I'm at the mile 157 and three
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, stumping trackside into the winner's circle, the unofficial winner, the first leg, first division. Two of Philly pace, number two, face the facts. Daughter of Falcon Elmhurst from the direct scooter mare Plain Facts, owned by Dan Purdue and Scott and Conrad Boer of Ohio. Dan Purdue trains Eric Lentford drives. Her fifth career start, her second career win in record time. Quite comfortably tonight, 157 and 3, leading the entire mile. Now, trackside to make that trophy presentation from WBNS Sports Radio, Paul Ballinger and Holly Brenninger. Also, Nick Popa. Finishing a third, rather finishing a second, second number three, Sweet and Tart. Third number six, Ellen's Pick. Fourth is now official. The uh, management and staff here at the Cider Downs, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Tom White for all the time and effort that he's put into harness racing action here at the Cider Downs. Mr. White will be moving on to Lexington and he'll be working for the editorial department, rather the advertising department in the Horseman and Fair world. Uh, Mr. White has spent a lot of time and, and energy and, uh, in harness racing action here in Ohio, does, has done a super job and will certainly miss Mr. White. I'd like to thank him again and wish him the best of luck.